Hello students, today we are going to study the voice of the rain and it is written by Walt Whitman. Okay, let's discuss about the poet, uh, poem first, poet first. Walter Walt Whitman, he was born on May 31, 1819 and he died in he died on March 26, 1892 and he was widely considered to be the greatest and most influential poet United States has ever produced and translated into more than 30 languages he is said to have intended contemporary american literature as a genre he is known for innovation in verse form that is the use of free words in long rhythmical lines now let's discuss about the poem now the poem is a dialogue between the poet and the rain and we are calling itself the poem of earth it explains its life cycle now rising from the sea and the land in vapors form the rain drops fall back giving the world relief from drought and setting dust all over and it stimulates the dormant seeds to life and by soaking the earth once again it heads for a fresh life cycle a parallel is drawn between music and rain what else a parallel is drawn between music and rain now let's discuss the summary of the poem the voice of the rain celebrating the coming of rain in a nature poem and it is fascinated by spontaneity and smoothing and smoothing effects of the rain and the poet asks it for an introduction to his great surprise the rain did introduce itself and call itself the poem of earth what the rain calls itself the poem of earth and it gave a detailed account of its cyclic moment Unnoticed by the people around, the vapors rise as clouds from the warm of the earth and unfathomable sea, taking non-distinct shapes. In spite of its trans this transformation, this, what this vapor turned water basically remains the same. And the rain falls from heaven above quenching the thirst of every single tiny particle and quelling the drought helping in the germination it stirs life into the dormant seeds and by drenching the earth it prepares a uh, ground for another cycle of life for itself so this incessant process keeps on enhancing enhancing its beauty and purity over and over again now there was at the end of the poem a parallel is drawn between rain and music what is drawn a parallel is drawn between rain and music. What is that parallel? Just as rain originates from the womb of the earth, music also eliminates from the heart of the singer. So rain originates from womb of the earth. So same music originates from heart of the singer. So rain falling all over renters everything preparing to start another cycle. Music over river, uh, reverberates all other irrespective whether someone listens to it or not. It echoes in the heart of the singer ex exuding a sense of joy and satisfaction. Quite akin 
to each other the rain and the music made the world more livable now let's discuss the literary devices which are used in this poem literary devices first is personification you know what is personification when the uh, we can say like uh, the, when we compare a living thing with a non living thing or non living thing with the living thing it is called personification now how um, poet has personified here so the poet has personified rain rain how and who art thou and who art thou who art thou means art means are and thou means you so who are you so he asks the rain so it means rain has been personified by the human being next he describes the sound of the rain as the voice of the rain so the persona of the rain on several occasions refers to itself as i so thus the poet has transformed rain into a living being a powerful character then next is metaphor so poem of earth so this is a powerful metaphor used by walt whitman to describe the poem poetry is creativity at its best it is characterized by music and rhythm so it has a power to soothe heal rejuvenate transform and thrill so it is universal in appeal and eternal all these qualities are there in rain also thus quite appropriately the rain calls itself the poem of earth why it is metaphor because it it calls rain itself calls the poem of earth so it is metaphor okay i hope you all understand the poem now on the basis of reading the poem you have to answer the questions so question number 1 i'm giving you a stanza and you, on the basis of a stanza you have to answer the following questions and who art thou said i to the soft falling shower which strange to tell gave me an answer as here translated so question number 1 what question does a poet ask the rain does he expect an answer if not then why b what does the expression soft falling shower suggest and what language last question what language does the poet receive the answer in how was he able to interpret and translate it and question number 2 why does rain say i give back life to my 
own origin. What else does rain give life to? I hope you all will be able to give this uh, these two answers on the basis of reading our poem. Thank you.